Midjourney's huge update, Stable Diffusion launches XL and DALI 3 rumors. Artists and creators, prepare to have your minds blown. Midjourney has just dropped an insanely powerful new feature called Vary Region that fundamentally transforms localized image editing. This incredible innovation utterly redefines what's possible when iteratively enhancing generations through AI image synthesis. Vary Region marks a landmark moment that will reshape workflows and expand creative horizons for Midjourney users. In essence, Vary Region allows making targeted in-painting tweaks to parts of an image while maintaining the surrounding style. No need to start over from scratch anymore. This opens up a whole new world of finessed refinements by enabling nuanced edits right where you want them. The implications for creative workflow optimization are staggering. After upscaling an image, you can now leverage Vary Region to handpick a region of interest and provide modifier text to transform just that area. Midjourney's algorithms then work their magic to seamlessly integrate alterations right within the defined region. The rest of your image stays perfectly preserved. It's ideal for subtle yet impactful changes that align with the existing prompt and composition, like magically manifesting a fancy hat atop a character, or conjuring a colourful bird into an open landscape. Dramatic overhauls across larger areas tend to clash with Midjourney's harmonising effects. But for targeted tweaks, the results feel sorcerously effortless. Vary Region consummates Midjourney's strengths for iterative enhancement through guided generations. Robust, new dimensions of artistic possibility are dawning. Rejoice and let your creativity soar. To use Vary Region, first make sure Remix Mode is enabled in your Midjourney settings. This allows adding text prompts when in painting. Without Remix Mode on, you can only select a region without guiding the edit. Once enabled, upscale an image, then choose Vary Region. Use the selection tool to pick an area, type your modification, and generate new versions focused on that region. The prompt should build on the original, like a colorful parrot perched on the tree branch for a jungle scene. It may take a few tries to get an integrated result, but Vary Region enables tremendously fast iteration. You can fine-tune images through targeted tweaks rather than starting over from scratch each time. This builds on Midjourney's strengths for creative exploration through generations. But don't limit your imagination. This new portal for localized painting holds untapped potential beyond its primary utility. Feel empowered to experiment wildly with Vary Region far outside its intended scope. For instance, why not blend totally disparate scenes like an astronaut floating dreamily through an underwater seascape? Sure, Midjourney won't always flawlessly interpret such massive conceptual leaps, but embracing the inherent limitations can produce deliciously surreal visual mashups, brimming with provocative aesthetic tension. Treat it as a springboard for your zaniest experimental creativity. Vary Region also continues Midjourney's relentless pace of innovation, shipping game-changing features at breakneck cadence. Unlike open-source initiatives bogged down in community coordination, Midjourney's closed development allows efficiently mobilizing resources to rapidly roll out system upgrades. This keeps the platform perpetually revitalized with new creative possibilities at a dizzying tempo. Does it sometimes overreach Midjourney's capabilities? fighting the user's artistic intent? Perhaps, but that friction kindles the imaginative spark. Midjourney's rapid pace of development is fueled by their priority on usability and accessibility. This makes for a more engaging experience compared to other AI image generators. However, platforms like Stable Diffusion XL represent a major leap forward in raw technical capabilities. Stable Diffusion XL or SDXL introduces the ability to generate crisp 1024 by 1024 images right away. Previous models, like the original Stable Diffusion, capped out at 512 by 512 without upscaling. The high resolution provides significantly more detail and fidelity for complex scenes. SDXL also enhances quality through a multi-model pipeline. The base model handles text-to-image generation. Then, the refiner fills in details while LoRa improves lighting and color. 
Each model plays a role in producing state-of-the-art results. Early leaks of OpenAI's DALI 3 reveal it may still have the upper hand in image quality. While not officially confirmed, samples showcase exceptional sharpness, realistic texturing, and accurate text rendering. This raw output fidelity exceeds what's currently possible with SDXL. However, Stable Diffusion XL's open source nature provides unique advantages over proprietary models like DALI. The publicly developed architecture offers greater flexibility through customization. Users can build specialized features tailored to their needs on top of the base SDXL models. For example, optimizing GPU performance, crafting a user-friendly interface, or streamlining fine-tuning workflows. Open development fosters a collaborative community, pushing SDXL forward in ways a closed commercial platform simply can't. Most importantly, SDXL's uncensored capabilities unlock full artistic freedom. Models like DALI and Midjourney place ethical restrictions on nudity, violence, or copyrighted content. SDXL's open source origins free it from these constraints. While this risks harmful use cases, many see unfiltered AI access as empowering. It removes gatekeepers dictating what artists can create. The AI community values openness over locking down generative technology in the name of profit and liability. SDXL puts control back in the hands of users, not corporations. This aligns with the spirit of an open renaissance, where creativity triumphs over sanctions. Harnessing AI as a tool for the benefit of all requires trusting people's intentions, not regulating their outputs. While Stable Diffusion XL offers impressive capabilities through its open source nature, proprietary platforms like Midjourney retain advantages in usability and accessibility. This is enabled by their closed development workflow and commercial incentives. Midjourney's frequent shipping of new features, like Very Region, keeps creators engaged with a constantly evolving platform. The rapid iteration arises from having an in-house team dedicated to enhancing the software. They can roll out updates without the coordination challenges of open source projects. Having direct control over closed loop development allows Midjourney to prioritize usability and fun over chasing the latest technical specifications. Their North Star is crafting an experience where exploring AI-generated art feels simple intuitive and joyful for all users. Everything from their gentle hand-holding prompts to streamlined pixel-perfect interface aims to democratize access to creative emergence. Midjourney guides even casual newcomers step-by-step -step through discovering the magic of image synthesis without assuming any technical expertise. You won't find dense menus with advanced settings to meticulously customize. Midjourney's approach favors gentle experimentation with guardrails over becoming overwhelmed. Each element aims to grease the wheels of imagination and make exploration effortless. In contrast, platforms built organically by the open source AI research community often optimize for flexibility over convenience. Tools like SDXL offer boundless options for those who want to deeply customize algorithms under the hood. But this comes at the cost of out-of-the-box simplicity requiring significant technical know-how to smoothly install and operate. While powerful for savvy users, open source creativity takes more effort to unleash. Midjourney's capabilities may lag behind bleeding edge innovation, but its streamlined experience allows anyone to enjoy creating right away. No specialized skills are needed. Just type a prompt and watch your imagination materialize before your very eyes. However, Relying on closed development has downsides too. Sanitizing generations and limiting technical capabilities risks constraining creative freedom. Mature artistic themes are filtered out, unlike the boundless experimentation of SDXL, and controlled innovation struggles to disrupt the status quo. Moderating generations aligns with Midjourney's friendly brand image, but it constrains artists who see AI as a radical new creative medium without taboos. Rules maybe favor revenue over users or restrict innovation that challenges the status quo. Debates rage on whether unrestricted AI generation is a Pandora's box of hazards or a tool that should remain radically open to all. Reasonable minds proposed varied visions for balancing creative freedom with ethical precautions. 
but those seeking full artistic self-determination may see proprietary platforms as paternalistically limiting, however well-intentioned. This philosophical divide has high stakes, as rapid-fire AI advances drive us into uncharted territory. The coming months and years are poised to set precedents with outsized impact. Will dominion over these reality-bending tools concentrate under corporate gatekeepers or diffuse among decentralized communities? The technologies themselves are ethically neutral, but everything hinges on how they're guided by society. Do we expand access and trust people's intrinsic wisdom or limit powers in the name of protection and profit? Both approaches carry risks if taken to extremes. Where should the fulcrum rest? One thing is certain. We cannot cling to old paradigms in this era of exponential transformation. The genie is out of the bottle, and early adopters like Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, and Dali foreshadow an approaching horizon we scarcely can imagine. By understanding the strengths and weaknesses of each philosophic approach, we gain clarity. This empowers wise choices, aligning our actions and innovations with shared values. We must rise to this historic opportunity with creativity, compassion and courage. I don't claim fixed answers in these uncharted waters, only optimism in our collective capacity to navigate wisely. New possibilities beckon if we have the audacity to envision beyond cultural constraints. With open hearts and minds, let us sail forth undaunted.